In this video, I'm gonna do a brief comparison of the OnSong app and the Music Stand app. Maybe you're a worship leader wanting to transition your worship team to digital chord charts and you're trying to decide which app are you gonna use on your iPad or Android device for viewing chord charts in worship. And there are a variety of options out there. I think the most popular options are either the OnSong app or the Music Stand app, which is created by Planning Center. In this video, I'm going to weigh some of the pros and cons of using each one of these apps and you'll be able to understand a little bit better each app's strengths and weaknesses. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jake Goslin with churchfront.com, helping you lead gospel-centered and tech-savvy worship. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos to help you grow yourself and grow your worship ministry. So here I have my iPad running both of these apps. I have the Music Stand app by Planning Center. So so Planning Center Online is a software development company. They create a whole suite of apps for your church to use. And I've been using the Planning Center Services app for a very long time to plan out my worship gatherings every single weekend, uh, to schedule musicians, to resource my musicians with charts as well as MP3 files, um, and uh, to also build out my song library. Um, so that's where I really keep my whole worship ministry organized is with Planning Center Services. And they have a, an app that's an add-on to your services subscription. And this app is called the Music Stand app. And this app is very simple. Um, in the app, you can view your plan. So it automatically syncs with your Planning Center account. You'll log in with your Planning Center account into Music Stand. You'll be able to view your weekly uh, set lists and plans. Um, and of course, you can click on a song and it's gonna pull up the chord charts and you can easily swipe through the different chord charts uh, within your worship set list. And within this app, uh, a couple cool things you can do. So uh, let's say I'm on the song Ever Be Here. If I hit the play on the top of the app, it'll actually start playing the MP3 file that I have linked uh, with this song in Planning Center. And that goes uh, with all the other songs as well. Goodness of God, Another in the Fire, uh, Simple Gospel, Alive in Me. So this is a really quick way for any of my musicians to download this app and practice the songs at home. This app also comes in with a built-in metronome for practicing the songs at the right tempo. You know, this is assuming you put all this information into the song when you import the song into your Planning Center account. And you can easily annotate a song. So you can select what color you want your pen to be here. Um, and then you can start drawing around on your chord charts. You can take notes. Um, you can highlight uh, different parts of the song as well. Uh, lots of great annotation features built into this app. And what's cool is you can even save your annotation. So you press done and then it's going to be saved to your uh, chord chart. And now I want to show you real briefly the OnSong app. There are a lot of similarities between OnSong and Music Stand. Uh, they both accomplish a lot of the same things uh, in terms of being able to organize your chord chart library, uh, creating weekly set lists, and OnSong even integrates really well with Planning Center so you can easily import your Planning Center set list into the OnSong app. I think the main benefit of OnSong is that it has a whole lot of other bells and whistles and features that are built into the app. Um, and I, I just think there's there's been a lot more time and effort and development put into the OnSong app because that's OnSong's main thing is creating this chord chart app. Whereas Planning Center is a company that's more about creating this planning and administrative software for your church and they, they do a really good job at that. I think it's the best church management software out there, but creating a core chart app is not really their main thing. It's sort of an add-on to the Planning Center Services app. So OnSong has a lot of cool features that Planning Center doesn't have. And the question is though, for you as a worship leader in your worship ministry, are these features that necessary for you? Um, so let me just show you a little bit more about the OnSong app and how it works. So if I hit songs on the top left, I can actually navigate back here. I can add sets, uh, I can view all of my songs, you can organize them into books. Um, and it's really uh, powerful when it comes to organizing all of your song assets. Um, so for example, if I wanted to 
go in here and import a song. I can easily select planning center and then I can select which service I wanna import. I'll select this one and I'll hit import and I'll just hit update. I actually already imported this. But now you'll see that those songs for that particular week were automatically imported into OnSong and I can go to sets and then um, here I'll see all the different weekly set lists that we have. So this set list has five songs, Ever Be, Goodness of God, and so on. And now I can scroll through all the songs in my set list. And here's where I think on song starts to shine a little bit more than planning center is you can easily reformat all of your chord chats, charts really quickly so you can adjust font size when it comes to the lyrics or the chords so if you're blind you can just turn everything way up here or you can just really have it at a comfortable uh, uh, size and then you can also highlight chords different colors you can change the text the color of the chords you can bold the chords i mean there's so much really quick customization that you can do to your charts within on song i mean personally i just prefer the charts as they come i don't need a whole lot of customization there um, but that, that 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 ability to customize these these charts uh in the visual look of the charts it's really easy to do within on song and you can even edit the chart so i create um, all of my charts uh, using planning centers built in uh, text editor so you'll see um, this is the raw text of the chart and I can go in here and start editing the actual chords and and the text itself and most often this song in particular uh, we didn't use it but this song uh, I do use the chord pro format um, I highly recommend using the chord pro for format it really just uh, makes sure that all the chords stay in the right spot in relation to the text as you start adjusting the, the formatting of things so um, on song it's cool you can you can still edit the raw chord charts even if you import things from planning center on song has a really cool feature where you can actually send messages to your other band members who are also using the app so when you guys are all on the same wi-fi network uh, it, it's able to, to to talk to other iPads or tablets using the app and you can send them quick messages you can hit like a start song cue and they're gonna see uh, that that start text come up on the screen or stop they'll see that come on the screen so that's a really cool creative way to be able to communicate to your band members in the middle of a service I'm not really sure how realistic um, it, it is to actually sit there and like type something like that but I think the the start button or the continue button or the stop cue I think that's all pretty a pretty neat feature Feature. So it has a really strong communication feature for talking to the rest of your band members. And OnSong has some cool features when it comes to uh, being able to use MIDI communication to change the song that you're seeing in your app. So uh, using Ableton Live, I use Ableton Live to run tracks. I could put a MIDI cue at the beginning of each song in Ableton that then maps to the appropriate song uh, within OnSong. So like our musicians would never have to actually uh, touch their their iPad uh, throughout worship. It would automatically flip to the right song and you could even get it to scroll to the right section of a song. I think it gets a, a little crazy. I can see how that could be a really cool feature to have. Um, I just think the time that you would spend setting up that type of MIDI automation for your chord charts, you probably could have spent that time just memorizing the chords and lyrics to your music. So I'm all for cool technology and cool features. Sometimes though, I think it can be a little bit overkill, but if that's the way you roll, if you like some really advanced features uh, in customization in, in the way that you operate chord charts and worship, then OnSong may be the right fit for you. Let's talk about pricing a little bit. OnSong is a one-time fee of $30, and then they have a couple uh, additional add-ons. You can add to it for a couple bucks here or a couple bucks there. Uh, they also have a, a Mac app, which you can use to manage your library and stuff like that on a, a laptop or desktop computer. I think that's $10 additional um, so on song is a one-time fee and you're gonna spend I don't know, 40 to 50 dollars if you want all of their features and all their ad add-ons um, and the great thing is you, you pay that once and you get all the updates in the future planning center is a bit different they are subscription based software so uh, you can subscribe to the services app so here are some of the pricing breakdowns for planning center if you actually want to use 
planning center services for free. Um, if you have like five team members or less, you can use services for free, which is awesome. And if you want to use the music stand app, then it's uh, $5 a month. Uh, it'll be a $5 a month subscription there. So pretty reasonable. If you start using the paid plans for planning center, um, then for just the services app, you'll be paying $14. And then it's only an additional $2 a month for the music stand app. If you have more team members, uh, let's say you're at a medium church, then it's going to be an extra $10 um, on your $59 a month plan. So that's going to be $69 a month. Um, I definitely think if you're using planning center, whether you're using the free ver version or you're starting to use the, the paid version, using the music stand app is a really great way to go. I do think if you're using Planning Center that the Music Stand app is totally worth it. Um, I use Planning Center all the time and I think it's an essential tool for all worship ministries. Like I already mentioned, I think it's the best church management software available, especially for planning worship services. That was the first app they, they ever had and they really mastered that and I think they do it better than anyone else. And what's really handy is to have your chord charts all managed by this one software platform. So um, when you're editing things in the Music Stand app for Planning Center, that'll make changes to the song within the actual song library in Planning Center as well. And you don't have to worry about different versions of the song floating around. And Ultimately, my personal choice is to just use the Planning Center ecosystem with the, the services app on my desktop uh, and or mobile device, and then I use the Music Stand app uh, for myself if I need chord charts or for my musicians when they need chord charts. I always tell them to use the Music Stand app. In my ministry, we just don't happen to need all of the advanced features that OnSong has, but if you want those features, especially when it comes to how it integrates with some of the other tools you're using, in worship ministry uh, via MIDI or if you want that advanced communication feature for your team uh, amongst the app if everybody's using OnSong then I think that could be a great way to go. I would just recommend trying both of these apps. I mean OnSong it is 30 bucks so it's a, a bit of an investment you want to be sure that you're going to utilize it um, but I don't think you'll regret using both OnSong and or the music stand app and maybe you'll bounce back and forth between them depending on the scenario and in, in which app is appropriate for your use case. So I know there's a whole bunch more that could be said about these apps. I really don't think you're making a wrong choice or a bad decision either way you go. Again, my personal preference is just kind of staying within the planning center ecosystem, but I still bought OnSong because I think it's a really cool app. It could come in handy once in a while, especially if I want some of those advanced features. I'm gonna link both apps below this video and both of their websites so you can learn more about them, more about the features as well as contact both both of those companies if you have any uh, support questions or anything like that for them. So go check them out. And the important thing is that you are providing your team with the best practice resources possible so that they can really come to rehearsal prepared and your band can execute the songs well. So in the end, don't have paralysis analysis, just pick a tool, start using it and figure out a system and process that's gonna work well for you as a worship leader to prep these practice resources and uh, a good system that you're going to be able to coach your worship team on so they're actually going to utilize it so they can make the most of these tools and learn the songs before rehearsals. If you want some in-depth strategy and training for how to use apps like Planning Center and how to prepare chord charts and mp3 files and other practice resources for your worship ministry then check out worshipleaderschool.com. We've got a large online course library uh, that's full of in-depth step-by-step Step online courses for worship ministry. We're going to teach you how to get organized, how to resource your band well, and even how to lead your band in rehearsal, as well as utilize a bunch of the latest tech for your ministry. So go to worshipleaderschool.com so you can access that course library, our community forum, and you can even get access to my team for real-time support and coaching. So go to worshipleaderschool.com to learn more. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, share it with your friends in ministry. You can check out some related videos right over here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you don't miss out on any of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your worship ministry.